Now the purpose of this video is to show you some of the best effects plugins that are hidden within Reaper. Ones that you might not know come with your Reaper install. So for project set up here, and it sounds like this. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laugh's a ghost of the stories you told. Let's add some effects to this vocal. We'll go to track effects. And as I mentioned, Reaper comes with a bunch of plugins, which you probably already know right over here. The common ones like the Reaper compressor, delay, EQ, gate, pitch, tuning plugin, and reverbs. But there's also in this tab over here, a bunch of other plugins that also come with our Reaper install. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch and they could also be user created. We're gonna focus on the ones that come with your Reaper install. Again, that you might not know about. And my personal favorites, starting with the joiner and splitters. We can see there's a three band, four band, and five band options. But to keep this simple, let's check out the three band ones. We'll start with the splitter and add it to the vocal. And what that's gonna do is split the audio into three different sections, a lows, mids, and highs. And it does this by creating crossovers split into different channels. So we'll go over here to our pins, which opens up the pins for this plugin, and we'll change the track channels to be six. This way, we have two channels for each crossover point, low, mid, and high. So now we can adjust the crossover, it defaults to 200 and 2000 kilohertz. So from 200 down is our lows, and from 200 to 2000 is our mids, and 2000 and up is our highs. But we could change this to anything we want. I'm gonna change it to 100 and 4000. But to hear all the parts back, we need to add the other plugin, the three band joiner. And now we have three separate faders for low, mids, and highs. So you could hear each one separately or mix them separately. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laugh's a ghost of the stories you told. But now we could put any plugin we want on any section we want. Maybe create a multi-band compressor using three separate compressors, all from different companies controlling different frequencies. Or we can create a de with any plugin we want. So let's try that. And I'm gonna add another one of my favorite hidden plugins right down here called the 1175 compressor. And if we put it after these two, it's gonna compress the whole thing. The wine is warm. But the room is cold. But if we put it in between and change the pins on this compressor to choose which bands we want it to work on, let's reset it and just choose the highs by choosing five and six. So now this compressor is only going to work on the highs. Let's turn down the lows and mids and let's adjust this compressor. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laugh's a ghost of the stories you told. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. In addition to compressing the top end, or just the S's, we could also control how loud it is using the gain knob. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laugh's a ghost. So we can make it as bright as we want, as it's now compressed a lot more. So next, let's add a delay. And we can see there's a bunch of delays to choose from. One of my favorites that you might not know about 
is the delay with tempo ping pong, meaning it's going to pan. Let's choose this, put it on at the end. Now we could add delay to the vocal. I'll set it up to be quarter notes and adjust the mix right here. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laughs are cold. But notice it's not panning, so we can adjust the ping pong width right here, how wide it's going to pan. Now each delay is going to jump from the left to the right. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laughs are cold. But in addition, we could also add this delay in between our splitter and joiner. So it could just affect one frequency. In this situation, let's put it just on the mids. So we'll go to the pins and reset it and just choose three and four, which is being used for our mids. So now a delay is just gonna appear in the mid range. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. And to make it more obvious, let's change our crossover frequency to B2000. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laughs a ghost of the stories you told. It was a great way of creating a nice ping pong delay that pans left and right as wide as we want. But we could also add a panning plugin. Let's double click, type in pan. Another one of my favorites is the ping pong pan. Put it at the end. Now it's gonna pan left and right, everything on the track. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. The frequency adjusts the speed, and the width decides how wide it'll be. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. So it can create a tremolo if we want. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laughs a ghost of the story. But again, we could put this just on one frequency or another. Let's move it up here, go to the pins, reset them, and let's put this on the mids. So now, just the mids are going to pan left and right. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. But now we can create another one with different settings for the highs. Let's copy and paste this, adjust the pins, reset it, and change this to just affect the highs. And again, we could change the settings to be different for this. Let's make it a bit slower and not so wide. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. So the top end is doing this. The wine is warm. And the mids are doing this. The wine is warm. But the room is cold. Your laughs a ghost of the stories you told. Pretty cool. Let's bypass all this. Now let's add a phaser. One of my favorites is the four tap phaser, which sounds like this. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. We can adjust the rate. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Or the range, based on their frequency. 
Let's hear that with all the other plugins. So that's the phaser. But similar to a phaser, we could also choose a flanger. And this flange baby is one of my favorites. Let's hear it without these. The line is warm, but the room is cold. I tend to prefer the delay time to be quicker. The line is warm, but the room is cold. Your laughs are ghost of the stories you told. But it sounds pretty mono. So we could add in all this other stuff we created to make it sound wider. So that's the flanger. We could also choose a chorus. One of my favorites is the Ozifier chorus right here, which is not quite a chorus. It's more like a harmonizer that blends in to sound like a chorus. Let's hear it without these. The line is warm. Notice how it makes it sound wider as the time spread and pitch spread is to the left and right speakers. The line is warm, but the room is cold. Your laughs a ghost of the stories you told. The music's low, but it can't drown the sound of hearts breaking quiet when no one's around. Let's hear it with these. Sounds pretty good. Now, because of the length of this video, I've cut it into two parts. Check out part two next. So that's pretty much it. That's the best effects plugins hidden in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Let's go.